Do you ever just have one of those days? So I just thought I'd give a quick little update about Big Black. I think Big Black is actually doing pretty good. Aww. There's a whole bunch of songs that are coming to my mind right now that I don't think I can even put like little clips or anything like that because I'll get some kind of a copyright strike or, or whatever. I don't know. But there's a bunch of them out there. Maybe I'll list like a couple um, as this kind of goes on. So uh, one of those days. So obviously we're having an issue with Big Black. Um, I just put the video out there. So you have to check that out. I'll put the, uh, how do you do that? I'll put the card, bam, right there. So, and then we've got this little bad Larry right here. And this is actually very minor. This is my wife's Honda CRV. It's 2017. Yes. With the 1.5 liter turbo engine. And if you know what that is, um, yeah. Everything's cool though. This car doesn't have that issue. And we already did the uh, non recall recall, so everything's good to go. But my son actually took the driver's side front tire in for a uh, tire patch instead of a plug. I plugged the tire, I don't know feels like a year ago now and I want to say like over the last couple of months every maybe like fifth day ish it would lose enough PSI to set off the TPMS um, you know part of the infotainment system because these guys they don't use uh, TPMS sensors they use the actual uh, ABS sensors to measure rolling distance you know that kind of thing so yeah i don't know it's all right so we're gonna do something else that should have been done yesterday but uh yeah sometimes what is that thing they say um sometimes life throws you lemons so make lemon juice i don't know lemonade not lemon juice i knew i'd get it so this is that uh carburetor there's the part number if you need it. I might leave a link. I do have to set up my Amazon affiliate account again. But um, we'll open this up and I'll show you what's in the box. So inside the box, they give you, a, it's actually a, a seemingly factory coloring anyways uh, for the return hose. But it actually seems like it's pretty good stuff. Um, Sometimes you can just tell by the feel whether if a hose is good or not. And this fuel line slash return line, um, it actually feels pretty nice. And it's the uh, correct gauge or correct size hose too for both the um, inlet and the outlet or the vent. And then the surprising part or the part that I was really interested in was this piece right here, which it's actually the carb adjuster. I actually didn't have one of these and I was looking into just buying, you know, something that was for adjusting those small carbs like that. But you can see, looking in that hole, maybe, focus, come on, how do I get that to focus in that hole? You can see it's like a 600 splined or 600 point um, tool or 600 point socket um, kind of uh, what is it what does it say on there yeah right there splined <laughs> and this is exactly what I needed to adjust the carburetor anyway and then um, in this uh, little bubble wrap pack here brand new carb I'll probably actually replace that um, with the one that's actually on there because the one that I put on there is brand new and I do like having a clear one versus this pink whatever I don't know why it's pink it makes it so you won't be able to see the fuel but um, yeah I think this will work out pretty mint 
We'll see. It's gonna be a um, it's gonna be a test. What do we got there? I don't know, man. It's it's looking pretty good from from obviously from an outside appearance. It's actually looking pretty good. I think I'm gonna be pretty pleased with uh, the function of this thing. I I really do. Um, at least I hope I am. It literally looks like the original. And that's the that's the part right there that I like right there about being able to adjust this carburetor. Hopefully this is a uh, I guess what you call a plug and play carburetor. And then um, came with new gasket. Oh look at that! That's messed up. So they actually give you so they give you the the fuel filter that goes inside the tank. They give you looks like looks like two gaskets. Two gaskets in there, and then uh, two primer bulbs, and these are clear. I don't know, maybe I'll just, you know what, I'll tell you what. I'm actually just going to try it as is. I know I said that I was going to, you know, swap it out, but I mean, who knows, maybe that pink stuff just washes away or something, I have no idea. Why well, give you a pink one on there, and then, I don't know, I, I'm pretty sure this is made in China. You know what's funny? It's nothing is saying made in China. That actually could be a good thing, right? But everything's made in China, so maybe it's not even going to work. I don't know. I don't see anything on there that says made in China, do you? I see a part number right there. I don't know. But this, uh, oh, we got some numbers right there. I don't know. Nothing saying made in China, so who knows? Maybe this actually might be a pretty good deal. Look at this guy coming out, trying to mess with my carb. Hey, what's up, buddy? <laughs> that is Vector right there. Hey, buddy. I'm telling you, anytime I'm doing stuff. Yeah, see, he's talking to me. Anytime I'm doing stuff on the table here. Working on, you know, the RC cars and, and whatever else I got here. Um, my little project bench. He always comes out and kind of uh, fiddles with things. You know, he investigates, you know what I mean? There he goes. Wants well, a little fist bump or a, I call it a high five. He likes to get in his high fives. But this is cool right here, having this wrench. So the uh, staining that you're seeing on the tailgate right there was from the other day, me trying to fix this thing right here. So this is actually for a Poulon Pro 2822 hedge trimmer. And that is supposed to say PP2822, it's just obviously like all of my stuff gets destroyed. But um, yeah, we're gonna throw the carburetor in and check it out. As you saw, I actually do have saw. It's not a saw, it's a trimmer. But as you uh, saw, saw, <laughs> I do have a new carburetor for it. And what we're gonna do right now is I'm gonna show you how very easily and quickly the carburetor on this thing can be swapped out to a brand new one. So this is the new carburetor. What I'm gonna do first though is I'm gonna show you that with all this stain stuff right here, I actually was able to get the carburetor, and this was literally, this was on site. I actually was able to get this thing fired up, and we'll test it right now. Um, put it to on, prime it up, it's already on choke, and we'll give it a couple pulls, see if it starts. Watch it not start now. All the fuel might have leaked out. Yeah, all right. Maybe it won't start now. All right, so never mind, it won't start. But I actually was able to get it to the point of where it would run, but as soon as I would goose the throttle, uh, it would die. So first thing that you're probably gonna wanna do if the uh, piece of equipment 
still has fuel in it, you're going to want to go ahead and grab yourself maybe a funnel or some other way to go ahead and uh, evacuate that fuel out of there. Good enough. Next, what you're going to need is you're going to need to get yourself a uh, Torx bit uh, driver. And this one is a, you can see that, this one is a T25. And that is for the Torx bolt that's right here. I mean, you don't have to do this, but what's going to happen is if you take this off and then there's another one underneath, right, right there. See that? Right Come on, focus, right there, see it, <laughs> ah, good times, but anyways, um, you'll need that T25, and the reason why is because you'll be able to take the tank and the carb off as a complete unit, it just makes more sense that way, it's easier, so we'll go after this Torx bit right here first, just don't lose anything, Put it in your parts tray if you got one. We'll end up with a parts tray right here by taking this cover off anyway, but go ahead and now go after the bottom one. It's right here. Don't lose the screws. Next, you're going to want to take off this cover and the air filter. So to pull this carburetor off, very, very simple. You want to access, obviously, the box. Take that cover off. Just flops out. Put that, set that aside. And then uh, you need, or should use, an 8 millimeter uh, socket that will take these bolts off. These are the next bolts you want to go after. That one there. That one there. And the reason why you're taking this cover off first, right, is because it'll just give you a little bit better access to the throttle cable where it attaches. Um, keep all your, you know, your parts in the parts tray. See? This thing even comes with a parts tray. Just like I talk about all the time. Everything has a parts tray. Alright. So, I'll move you in so you can get a better view. Alright. Move this a little bit closer. This is actually kind of like out of my way, like the camera's kind of in my way. Boom, right here. So, um, but I'll show you what's happening. Pull this gasket off. Uh, I can't remember whether if this is a gasket that's provided, um, but you can see we've got a little bit of a uh, fuel leak issue. So, we're just going to loosen that up a little bit, and we're going to take this throttle cable right here, and you're going to need a uh, 10 millimeter wrench. To go ahead and loosen this lock nut that's right here for the throttle cable. So what we're going to do is we're just going to bring that loose. Bring it all the way down. Then bring the cable all the way up. Which will allow you to be able to pull that little uh, cable out of its uh, retainer. So now you can totally unscrew it all the way out. Like that. Done. Now what you can do is you can go ahead and slide this off um, basically as a complete unit and just pay attention that you know fuel might slosh or spill on you or whatever. Uh, this gasket right here, this will come off, throw it in the uh, parts tray, see, got that parts tray right there, the air filter box, and then there should be a small little like, um, yeah, I guess you call that a hose clamp. And you can just do that one by hand if you want, or you grab a pair of needle nose. And then this is where some of the fuel is going to leak out, so just be prepared for that. Okay, maybe not. And then this one is, for me, this is more of a hard line because of age. And that just pulls off like that, and that's good to go. Set the tank aside. Here's the carburetor. And then the best thing to do before you kind of go any further, I guess, would be to compare the old carburetor to... The new one. So we'll set this up now and we'll do a little comparo. 
Oh yeah, get yourself some paper towels, hand protection, and safety glasses. You're not going to need ear protection. I mean, you could, but you're not going to hear anything. So, you already saw this carburetor anyway. So, comes with plenty of fuel line, which is nice. We're not going to actually replace any of that stuff. I'm literally just doing a drop-in carb situation. So, that next thing that you do is you start comparing, you know, pieces, parts. Just give it, you know, a general, you know, visual inspection. Make sure that all the fuel lines line up. Everything looks the same. Throttle position. You can see that there is a little bit of a, a funkiness happening there. But what that is, is that was technically the repair or the job site repair that I did. That's actually black electrical tape that I was using as a gasket. So... Yeah, that's, that's probably what kind of helped fail it, but anyways. So you can see everything is literally the same, which I was really shocked about the quality of this thing. And then right in there, that's what this little screwdriver is for. That's for adjusting the high and the low of the carburetor for, uh, yeah, for its operation. So what we're going to do again, like I said, $20 carburetor, comes with a bunch of stuff. Uh, most of it for this particular situation is unnecessary. It's got the nice pink primer bulb right there. There's my original primer bulb right there that I replaced it with uh, for I don't know, another video that I did like last year. So, yeah, is what it is. I don't know. So let's go ahead and install this on the tank just the way we took it off. So obviously this is the bottom fuel line goes to the bottom there top one goes here we're just gonna push that on push this one in and on take this little clamp <laughs> slide that into place effectively it's things useless it's on there but yeah anyways so that's good to go for there now we're just gonna go ahead and take the tank and Carburetor set up and put it back. So this, this is the old one. Set that aside. So you can literally see this, this. Something like this takes minutes. So let's go ahead and let's go ahead and just reinstall this here. Line up the shafts. Slide the carburetor back on. Take the gasket that we took off and saved in our parts tray. Put that back on. Grab the uh, torque spits out of our parts tray. I'm going to put the top one in first. Just line up the tank with the hole and the screw, and then just screw it in. No one else wants to make a strength either. We don't need any of that. I'm going to break stuff. And we'll go after this bottom one here. Camera's in the way. There we go. Now, literally, all we have to do is connect up the throttle cable. Very easy. Screw that in. Bring it all the way up, bring it down, readjust that little lock nut. All this can be changed after the fact. We just want to get things kind of like together. Go ahead and take the uh, air filter carburetor base, install that. Take your 8mm uh, bolts out of your parts tray. Go ahead and install those. Kind of do them as even as you can. Once you feel it, you know, kind of contact, just, you know, move on to the next one. So, looking good. Give it a little bit of a crank. Not too much. 
you can feel it. Go ahead and reinstall your air filter. Reinstall your outer cover. And then we're going to um, throw some brand new fuel in it and see what happens. And just, I'm not going to fill it up, but we'll just go to the halfway point. Should be fine. Right there. Good enough. Uh, maybe we'll give it a little more. Why not? <laughs> Three quarter full. Is that more like 80% full? Who knows? Put the cover on. Let's prime it up. See if we can get you in there. So you can see the fuel actually going in. Maybe. Yeah, there we go. Put it on choke. Make sure the switch is on. Give it a pull. Alright, so sputtered. Put it back down to half choke. Make sure there's nothing in the way of the blades. Like the brand new fuel line that I'm about to cut. <laughs> Give it a pull. I mean, I have no idea what the timing was on that, but that thing is running absolutely beautiful. And that is a $20, I think, Chinese carburetor, and I am very happy with that right there. So, yeah. Absolutely perfect. I don't even know if you could hear my voice over the thing going. But anyways, what I was saying is it's a $20 carburetor. You saw that. Gave it a couple of pumps, primed it up, filled up the bowl or whatever you want to call it. It's got there. Just got some fuel into the uh, primer bulb and gave it a couple pulls and rip roaring, ready to trim and rock. Ready to rock and trim. Yeah, ready to rock and trim. Yeah, that sounds all right. So anyways, so I guess sometimes with a couple of things that are going wrong, um, got some videos out there. I just did a Amazon review video. It's not the uh, video review that people are expecting. It's an honest review about a piece of garbage part that I received from a seller on Amazon and they didn't want to help me resolve any issues. So I figured I'd do a nice honest review. But uh, yeah, anyways, I'll tell you right now, this carburetor right here, this is actually gonna get a proper review. Um, it's going to be part of this. I mean, that is, that's a review all in itself. Seeing the process of what, would it take me like a minute just to change out that carburetor to a brand new one? Everything looks proper other than having a pink primer bulb. I don't get that one. Maybe it'll fade over time. I don't know. I hope so. But yeah, trimmer's back in action. Now I can go trim some bushes, grasses, plantings. But I kind of can't, can I? Because of uh, the other Amazon review that I just had to do. Thanks. Anyways, thanks for watching this episode of What's Up Guy Garage. Um, trim is all set. Uh, it's, it's, it's a thumbs up for me on Amazon. It's going to get a five star. Um, video is going to be up there. Video is going to be on YouTube. Thanks for watching. Getting some separation here. Nice. Strain it through a couple coffee filters and maybe we'll be good to go. Hope you enjoyed this little blip of an episode of What's Up Guy Garage. Uh, this was just something very minor. Testing out a $20 carburetor from Amazon. Um, I'll diagnose and I'll take apart, or actually not diagnose, I already know what the problem is, but I'll take apart that carburetor and I'll show you what I did and subscribe. Why wouldn't you? It's easy. Just hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell notification. Support the channel, man. You know? I mean, any and all would be appreciated. Thanks for watching this uh, episode of What's Up Guy Garage. Uh, trimming in style.